So like you floor it and instead of going like yeah. it just goes zoosh. down. <laughs> What's going on guys? Fully from Custom Offsets with Junior from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. And we're going over 1999 Malibu Sportster LX. No, I'm just buying that. Get that out of here. We're actually going over some of the uh, crazy or outrageous or just out there vehicles from our gallery. Cobb's probably going to call them the bizarre vehicles of our gallery. So not, not another episode of From the Gallery, but just bringing you some different stuff that's in the gallery because you can literally find just about any vehicle you want in here. And these trucks don't get that much recognition, so we want to bring them to you to show off uh, these cool trucks. So, yeah, that's it. We're right? starting with this one? This is what we're starting with. So Jared picked a couple, I picked a couple, and uh, we'll go over it. So this is 2016 Ford F-150. Nothing special, it's just a you know regular cab, just regular, regular box. But it's sitting on Extreme Force XF2s, 22 by 12, negative 44s. Uh, Nitto 420s, 305 40s, and it's actually lowered, so it's got a 3.5 drop in it. That's such a good setup. Is it like a sport or whatever? Because it's got the painted to match, like grill, front bumper, not the grill, but like the surround, front bumper, rear bumper. So he doesn't have the stickers on it that say sport, so I, I don't know that for sure. I know it has a 5 liter based on his license plate, but like, yeah, color match grill surround, color match bumpers. It's so simple, but like, I love it. Like, if you look at the Toy body lights. of the truck, What's done to it? Just a little bit of paintwork, maybe? If that, right. Unless he just bought it as this. Right. Some wheels and a drop kit, but this looks freaking amazing. I love the fast. brush finish. It does look <laughs> fast. Oh, that's right. If you scroll down to the details, yeah, he's got a rush supercharger. Hell yeah. Yeah, so he's probably making like, you know, 665 roughly for horsepower. Uh, and this thing looks like it would be absolute that blast is, to like, drive. That is like amazing. If like, I lived I want in like this. Texas, that would be like my truck. See his plate? Texas. He's from Texas. Of course. Like I want one of these, and then I also want uh, a lifted one. Right, have one of each. Like this is this is a pretty sweet. And the truck. wheels are cool because there's that brushed finish, so they're mm -hmm. just like they pop against the red, but it's not your typical chrome. Yeah, it looks like it would barely fit. He says there's uh, minor plastic trimming and slight rub at full turn. I have a feeling there's a little bit more rub than that, just based on what it looks like. And those but, crash bars are probably gone. Oh yeah, I would assume so. But yeah, really cool looking truck. So we just want to bring that one to you and. Uh, we're not really rating them because it's not from the gallery, but that's 10 out of 10. I'll yes. tell you that for free. 12 out of 10. All right, next guy. So this must be one that you picked. Yes. So like, I want to try and find something different, right? Because you see your lifted Dodges, your lifted Chevys, your lifted Fords, but like, you don't really see a lifted Titan Cummins. No. Mm -mm. And like, I don't know, I like them. And honestly, I think the new GMCs kind of look like the Titans. But this dude's on American Forces, Furies, 37s, and a six inch Fabtech lift. And like- Are these brushed too? Another brushed yeah. wheel. Yeah. So it's like forged, but that's that's where a lot of these like cast wheel companies have come from with their brushed wheel designs is from like Specialty and American Force who have like their polished wheels and a brushed finish. 26s on a Nissan Titan. You just I, don't, you don't see no. that that often. Like I want to see this in person. I do too, this is pretty sweet. Uh, one thing I noticed too, so if you look at the center caps here, he's actually running the 10 lug Oh. Center cab or the 10 lug like wheels. So is it a American Force has like a big rig series where you can bolt these up to like your regular axles and then this is basically a cap that goes over it. So what I can 10 remember. Lug, but it's not 10 lug? When I saw it at SEMA, yeah. So it's it gives you that big rig look without actually having to do like an axle swap or run the spacers. You can That's just wild. do this. So kind of interesting there. But yeah. Very cool. Oh he had it like black and tan and I was all black. I like that. All the things. Oh, yeah. You like that? Yes. So I picked this one. This is a 2017 Chevy Tahoe on uh, Specialty Forges, the old SF007. It's 26 by 16, negative 103, so they stick way out there, uh, and 38 inch Furies. So I picked this one because you don't see as many lifted SUVs. Uh, nowadays, so I wanted to bring back the SUV game. Brand new, like new body style. Mm -hmm. I like the color too, that like rose gold or copper or bronze or whatever you call yeah, that. Yeah, it's pretty clean. I love this. Wow. Um, High roller. It's just done very nicely. I mean, it's a specialty forge truck. Like they're all yeah. done very nicely. You can actually, this one's right on their website too. So I'm sure it was a sponsored vehicle, but it looks absolutely killer. It does have a little bit of Cali lean to it which I just think is kind of funny. Uh, and then he also has the Ta from Tahoe removed, so it just says Ho on the side. There's probably a bunch of groceries in the back, and that's why it's leaning. Oh, yeah. Groceries, uh. <laughs> soccer balls, yep. you know, all that kind of stuff. So just another example of something Jeez. different that's in the gallery that's like, you know, there's one extreme and then there's the other. That's awesome. <laughs> I picked this one. 
What? That's what I said, that's why I picked it. It's like a patina, rusted out, styled S10, like an OBS S10. Yeah, old school, 1990 Chevy S10. And like, look at look at the bed. It's like... It's gone. <laughs> well, that's the motor. There what does go. he have swapped into there? What is that? I can't even tell what that is. Swapped, that's what that is. He's got LED light bars for headlights too. Mm. Details, too many to list. Not much of <laughs> stock. If you want to more, contact me and we can have a conversation. Nice, I like that. Nitto NT555s. Race truck. What is going on with that bed? There's it's a total so, custom, like one -off. there's and so like much money put in You can put this. a dead body in there. Yeah, I don't know if I'd do that. <laughs> I love the wood uh, floors if you'll do it yeah. on the beds. Like old trucks. Cause you see that in cars all the time, but you don't see it in trucks. So when you do, it's like it's yep. so big that it. Bam. It's got license plates to hold his gauges. Yeah, this is really different. This is not your average gallery. Ad. No, not at all. But he's got his full suspension wheel and tire set up in there. So there we go. This one I picked. Is this your truck, Fuller? No, it's not my truck. I thought this was cool because there's there's a search and rescue operation. This is in Colorado. I looked this, these guys up to find out you more did? about it. Yeah. <laughs> so they have. Um, a lift wheels and tires on their search and rescue vehicle, which I just think is cool to see that like somebody's actually putting this to work and it's not it's not just for show. Uh, and they have coilovers. So it's a FabTac three inch uniball kit and then the Dirt Logic 2.25 uh, reservoir shocks on there. And then methods and dirt tracks that you can go over basically anything. Exactly. So I think that's super awesome. I found a whole bunch of pictures on their Facebook page and they like take this thing through parades and they actually do use it on the mountain. That's awesome. It's just cool to see like people actually getting use out of some of the things on our website. What do you think, like, just show trucks. hey boss, so like, I know we've got this like right? whole new truck. How did this go over? Yeah. I know we just spent 60 <laughs> grand on that 2,500, but here's what I was thinking. What if we got some methods and then Duratrax, and you know, we want we want good suspension, so we don't want to cheap out. So what if we get a full coilover system? And then a bull bar on the front too. I mean, you know, just, just to help with search and rescue operations, yeah. I think that would be nice. And the thing is, it probably does actually help. Yeah. Like, it makes sense why they got all this stuff. A, the coilover kit might be sort of excessive. I don't know how fast they're going I, right, over but stuff, but gotta be prepared, right? It's got a light bar on it, so I mean, if they're running uh, running code with this that's thing, awesome. lights and sirens, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and I want one. <laughs> well, you had to pick this. Of course I did. It's a Bronco, and it's gigantic. That is huge. It looks like a little toy car. It looks fake because it's so huge. It's on 54s and over nine inches of lift. Yeah. Like mm. The 20 by 14s look like they're about. It's a 24 inch lift. Oh. Yeah. Slightly larger than nine inches. <laughs> Major metal trimming, still slight rub on 24 inches of lift with 54. Look at that. What is that? A clevis? Is that what that's called? Uh, uh, well, some people call things clevises, some people call them shackles, and that's up for debate, but this oh. would just be called a hook. Oh. It's, it's like it's what you'd see on a crane. It's like a whale hook. It's huge. It's what you fish Massive. For guy actually uses it too and he has a I did not see this he has a trailer <laughs> made from like a f-250 bed with yes. a topper that he and pulls like which is bars. also lifted oh my god that's crazy so these are 20 by 14s and they look about this big <laughs> wow Nice. It's just, it's gnarly. That is, that is pretty impressive. So, I guess what it comes down to is whether you want a show vehicle, a lower truck, a lifted truck, a off-road truck, a mud bogging truck, there is something for everybody in the gallery and we would love to see all of your vehicles. So if you want to come out to customoffsites.com forward slash ad, you can add your vehicle and there's a good chance it'll probably get featured in an ad or a video or something like that. Uh, and if you don't have a truck yet and you're, or you're looking to buy something for your truck, you can head to customoffsites.com forward slash gallery and that will tell you exactly what fits, and I'm talking really fast. Yeah, you barely even said that. Make sure I to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube, youtube.com slash TV. Peace. Nice.